So how much actually is a Logitech C920 in 2020? Logitech C920. $100. Looks like we have a thumbnail, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Saucy, and I help new streamers level up their content. We'll get into this. Just a quick reminder to subscribe. Thank you, guys. A lot of streamers ask me what's the best webcam to buy. For years, I've been recommending the Logitech C920. Logitech C922 was my very first webcam, and I actually still use it now as my secondary camera. Problem is, though, guys, and the reason for this video is that it is 2020, and everybody is working from home. So what this means is that the cost of basic webcams has been pushed right up. Back in the day, so like 2019, last year, C920 used to cost between $30 and $50. They used to do a lot of sales where they were on offer for 30, which is a really good price for a starter cam. And it's the reason why I used to recommend the Logitech C920. Whereas now, as we've just seen, you're looking at $100 plus for a Logitech C920, which is honestly, guys, a lot more than the C920 is actually worth. So I guess, do you spend double what the camera is worth? Do you go cameraless or do you buy a cheap Chinese knockoff camera? Or is there a better solution? Introducing Droid Cam. Shout out to my friend, The Lime Runner, by the way, for recommending this to me. You can find a link to his Twitch channel down below. Go follow him, guys, please. Droid Cam uses an OBS extension as well as a phone app. Let you use your phone camera as a webcam and it can even be done wirelessly guys and it is on android as well as ios shout out to my fellow android users you might be thinking but is my phone camera actually gonna be any good phone cameras nowadays guys are actually really really good some of them are actually better than webcams but we are gonna compare all the different cameras in the end guys we're gonna compare this camera that you're looking at now to a logitech c922 and then we're gonna mix it in droid cam as as well so you guys can see the difference for yourselves to start with guys let's head over to droid cam and install the obs plugin i will leave a link down below in the description for you guys the droid cam website includes a link to the obs plugin as well as a link to the ios app and the android app we head over to the plugin there and then we're going to download it on windows because i am on a windows machine and then this is going to download an exe file so once the installer is downloaded guys all you need to do is launch it and then let the installation run through. I've already got this installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it. Now we need to download the app on phone. I'm on Android, so let's head over to the Play Store. We're just going to search for Droid Cam OBS. It's the very first result there at the top. And then we just need to hit install and let's do its installing thing. Once it's downloaded, if we just open up the app and then give it permission to take pictures and record as well as record audio. Head back over to OBS and add in a new browser source. We can see now that we've got Droid Cam available as a browser source. We just hit this and then give it a name. And we just want to change the resolution from 640 times 480 to 1920 times 1080. Quick disclaimer here, guys. Full screen is actually a premium option on this app, which will cost you a one-off payment of $4.99. You have to select the premium option on the app to actually pay this one-off charge. I've already paid for it. I feel like it's worth it. It's still significantly cheaper than buying a webcam. You can still use this app on full screen without paying for it, but you will get a nasty little watermark across the camera. The default resolution, which is 640 times 480, is actually completely free. So you may be able to get away with this, especially if you're streaming with a green screen behind you instead of wanting to get in like a widescreen background. Note here as well, guys, that you can enable audio if you would like to. Now to get the phone to actually connect to OBS, we need to pop out Wi Fi by IP address in here. I couldn't seem to get this to work, guys, via USB. Let me know in the comments if you tried this and managed to get it to work via USB. I could not get the uh, the drop down option to show even after I plugged it in. I'm going to show you the Droid Cam OBS information as it will appear on the phone here. I'm going to blur up my IP address, guys, because you should never give away your IP. So let me pop the IP address here. Now, if we hit activate, we should get an awkward 
sideways angle of my face. Let me flip this round. That's much better. There we go. Obviously, I'm holding this in my hand, so it's not going to look too good. Now, I'm just going to quickly stop this, guys, because I just wanted to show you something that I found out whilst I was filming. If the picture quality is breaking up and looking all pixelated, all you need to do is tap the three little lines at the top of the app, then jump into settings, and then video, then jump over to where it says encoder options, and set your bit rate to the absolute maximum. I think it was set by default to two megabytes. I boosted it up to 12 megabytes and that made the picture quality a lot smoother. Now I wanted to show you guys this side by side shot of my DSLR, which is a Lumix G7, which we're looking into now, a Logitech C922 and my phone, which is using DroidCam. These are very slightly different angles because of desk space, but they are all about the same distance from me. And the reason why I set it up like this is so that you guys could see the range of view. I did tweak some settings in DroidCam. I adjusted the white balance as well as the exposure. They also turned off autofocus as well. I did also add a LUT and some color correction, both DroidCam and the C922. And of course we have good lighting. You guys would like to learn more about making your camera look awesome with lighting and color correction. I made a whole video on that one for you. You can find that over here. So obviously the range of view, so what you can see in the shot is a lot better on the DSLR camera. But if we just take a look at the droid cam and the logitech c922 specifically together you can see that there is very little difference in range of view let me turn over to these two cameras so that you can see me very very little difference i'm pretty much cutting off at the exact same point you could argue that you can see very 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 slightly less of me and my background on droid cam versus the logitech c922 but for a price difference of 195 dollars I, I take droid cam over the webcam any day. A quick tip to increase range of view, by the way, guys, is just to move your camera back. The further back you move with it, the more you're going to get into that shot. The color and the quality of both of these cameras is also pretty similar. I would say that possibly droid cam is a little bit sharper. They do both have different LUTs and different color corrections on them because they are different cameras. But there is going to be differences because of that. If we turn off all of the filters for a second, you guys can see the difference in color. I look really red on the C922. I don't know why. Oh, that is. I definitely look more natural on droid cam, even though I look a little bit washed out. Let me pop the filters back on, guys. But honestly, guys, side by side comparison, I think droid cam probably beats the C922. And we were trying to beat the C920. So the fact that we've beat the C922 makes me very happy. <laughs> and for free, if you don't mind using the smaller resolution or $5 for premium, you've just saved yourself $95 and your camera looks better than the C922. So go you. Also guys, as I was making this video, I came up with the idea that droid cam would be a really good way to do some indoor vlogging. Set up OBS with droid cam inside it, and then you've got a wireless cam that you can just carry around your whole house, which is really pretty cool. I hope that you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to drop me a like and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, drop me a comment down below and let me know what camera that you use for streaming. If you guys would like to come chat with me about streaming i am live over on twitch every thursday friday and saturday link in the description box below by the way guys if you're a new streamer and you would like me to review your stream completely for free as part of my saturday live show which is called salty reviews your streams make sure to drop in my discord and drop a message in the stream review channel i'm really enjoying reviewing your stream so far it is genuinely the highlight of my week i don't know if that makes me sound sad or not but i really do like looking at your stream if you are brand new to Twitch and want to learn how to get started, I made a video all about that for you. You can find that over here. Or if you'd like to rely on the YouTube algorithm to choose your video for you, you can check out this mystery video over here. I'll see you over there. Bye, guys.